Mixtures are physical combination of two or more substances Air Soil Garbage And concrete Are examples of mixtures In our surroundings most materials are mixtures of two or more components, homogeneous such as solutions and heterogeneous such as collides and suspensions. Mixtures can be separated into their components by different methods, in choosing separation technique, the nature of the mixture is considered. What are the methods of separating components and mixtures? Evaporation, filtration, decantation, extraction, flotation, crystallization, sifting, magnetic separation, centrifugation, distillation, rectification, winnowing, and panning. Separating homogeneous mixtures. You have learned about the different Mixtures and their characteristics Homogeneous mixtures have components that are evenly dispersed that their components are not easy to identify However, it doesn't mean that their components cannot be separated One example of a homogeneous mixture is seawater which is source of salt. How do you think is salt collected from seawater? What are the ways of separating homogeneous mixtures? Separation by evaporation. Did you know that people living in some coastal areas get their salt from seawater? Solar evaporation is just one way to separate the components of mixtures. Can you think other ways to do it? Salt can also be separated from seawater by heating the mixture to evaporate the water and leaving the salt in the container. Separation by centrifugation A centrifuge is a machine with tubes inside that moves in circular motion at high speed to separate the substances in them, getting sugar from sugarcane juice and separating the components of blood can be done by centrifugation. Extract from plant sources like sugarcane are basically solutions of water and other materials. Fermentation of extract usually yields ethyl alcohol. The fermented mixture is distilled to separate the alcohol from the extract. Separating gases by rectification. The process for separating the components of air is called rectification. In order to do this, air is turned into liquid first by applying pressure and by lowering the temperature. The resulting liquid is then heated. Its component of the liquefied air evaporates and turns into gas at different temperatures. For example, nitrogen turns into gas at a lower temperature and can be collected in another container while oxygen remains liquid. What are the uses of the separated components of air? Liquid nitrogen 
is used to keep things called a temperature lower than those in ordinary refrigerators and freezers. Nitrogen is also used in making fertilizers. Collected oxygen is stored in a pressurized container. It is used for life support system in diving and also in hospitals to provide patients air with higher oxygen content. Another use of oxygen tanks is for weeding, welding, and cutting. Some gases such as neon are used in making colored bulbs for signs used in buildings and establishments. Argon is used in incandescent light bulbs to stop oxygen from corroding the filament. It is also used in the production of titanium and other reactive elements, separating by crystallization. Mixtures whose components have varying solubility in a given solvent, usually water. Soluble components crystallize out of hot solution by cooling. Heterogeneous mixtures are easier to separate because you can still see their components. What are some ways of separating heterogeneous mixtures? Separation using fans and wind. In winnowing, grains are tossed in front of fan. The wind blows off the lighter pieces of hot and dirt while the grains fall straight into the containers. Winnowing is applied in order to completely separate the house from the rice grains. It is also done after pounding the rice grains when pieces of hulls are still get mixed with the white rice. Winnowing can also be done without wind or fan. Mixtures of rice grains and hulls is placed on a bilao and then shaken and tossed. The lighter pieces of hull fall slower than to grains. The moving bilao after catching grains leaves the hull pieces separated from white rice. Separation by panning Gold panning is done by choosing part of the river where gold is most likely present. The pan is gently swirled until the heavier materials sink to the bottom. The settled materials sifted for tiny pieces of gold. Some minerals like gold can be obtained not only by mining but by panning. It is one of the oldest methods of separating gold in river beds. Gravel from the river is scooped into pan with little water. Lighter materials are spelled out. Separation by decantation. Decantation can be can be done in a mixture with liquid and solid components. The process is settling heavy solids and pouring off liquid. Some liquid, like oil and water, do not mix and form a heterogeneous mixture. They are immiscible liquids. These liquids can be separated by pouring or scooping out the topmost liquid. This process is called decantation. Another way of separating two immiscible liquids is by using separatory funnel. The water is at the bottom while the oil floats on top. If the valve at the bottom is open, the water drops by gravity. After all, the water has been drained, only the oil remains. Separation using strainers and filters. 
have learned that heterogeneous mixtures with large solids suspended in a liquid can be separated using strainers. Components of mixtures consisting of insoluble solid and liquid can be separated by the use of filtering medium such as filter paper or cloth. Separation by sifting Use of sifter for sifting is applied on powdered mixtures especially in separating larger particles from smaller ones or to retain the coarse parts of flour, ashes, sand, and etc. Separation using magnets The use of magnets takes advantage of the magnetic property of one component. It is used to separate mixtures with one magnetic property and the other components are non-magnetic. Separation using magnets. Magnets can separate certain metals from a mixture. Metallic materials, particularly alloys of iron, are separated from garbage using strong electromagnet. Separation by extraction. Extraction is applied in mixtures with components that are more soluble in the extracting solvent. For example, in a mixture with component which is more soluble in ethanol can be extracted using ethanol as solvent. Some common extracting solvents are water, ethanol, and oil. Separation by flotation. The process of blowing air into the mixture, the light components float with air bubbles and scoop up. In a mixture, host components have different densities. Large scale could be done using sophisticated equipment that could perform similar to this illustration. <laughs> 